Hey guys, it's me, Brandy, and I am going to try to do something I have never done before. I'm going to try to dupe. Mm. Okay, so you're not going to see that. I'll put a picture of it up here on the screen. I will try to put a picture up here on the screen. I'm going to try to dupe out the uh, Lunar Beauty Lunar Eclipse palette with my single shadows. So, spoiler alert, I have never done this before um, on camera. So I'm going to see if I can do the best that I can do and we will see how I do. So, um, excuse the way I look. I wore this makeup all day at work today and I've been wanting to dupe this palette out for quite some time so I want to go ahead and do that with you. I'm actually going to go to the Lunar Beauty website. Um, I'm going to try to swatch this out and see if I can get a similar color story. We'll see how close I get. Um, again, I'm not a professional at this, but I do have a million single shadows. Not actually a million, but I have quite a few. And the name of this palette is the Eternal Eclipse palette. So let's see if I'm able to dupe this out with what I've picked. Um, and it's called Eternal Eclipse and it's absolutely a beautiful palette. I am trying to see if I can get a similar vibe with my single shadows. So let's see the shade descriptions. I have flare. It says icy peach shade with reflect gold glitter. So for flare, I have two shadows. I've got this one which I feel like is an ice. It might be more warm than icy, but I'm gonna swatch it for you. So this is actually from the Wander Beauty, one of their palettes. Um, the palette got depotted. So the palette got depotted. It was the Wander Beauty palette. So I've got this. And I feel like that's Icy Peach, the Gold Reflect. So there's that one. And then this is from Adept Cosmetics and it's AS, ACS37. So that is what it looks like. And I feel like I feel like I feel like the Adept Cosmetics one is a little more icy. So I'm gonna put the Adept Cosmetics in. So this one will go back in my other palettes. Alright, so the next shade is Adamantium, and it says it's a true silver metallic. And I have this one from Unicorn Cosmetics. It's called Stunner. I've also got one from Colored Rain. And this is called Flashing Lights. And then my third option is Alpinagist. And this is a colored, uh, this is a Coastal Scents shadow. So. Let's, this is the first one, and so that is that first one. Oh my gosh, that's just beautiful. And then next we have Colored Rain. And it's a little bit smoother, but they're pretty much the same. I, f 
feel like that first one might be the one. And then the colored rain, or not the colored rain, oh, sorry. The coastal scents. I feel like that's a more, just like a darker one. I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with that first one. It's a Unicorn Cosmetics. And it's called Stunner. That's so pretty. All right. So next I have a glitter topper. It says with blue, pink, and gold reflect. So for this one, I'm gonna go into my Adept Cosmetics Plain Jane palette. AC12 and I feel like this is Ooh, do not drop it okay so that's this one and this is AC18 and that's I'm gonna pick AC18 for that shade. It's this one. Okay, and then next we have Desert Sky, and this is, oh no, Gold Dust. So I pulled two for Gold Dust. I have one from Collective Cosmetics. And I have one from Adept Cosmetics. So it's supposed to be an antique gold shimmer. So this is Collective Cosmetics, and then this is Adept. Okay, so I feel like, I feel like the Collective Cosmetics is gonna take that one. And then I'm going to use So I'm going to try the, for Desert Sky, it's a bronze shimmer. So I'm gonna try the ACS30 from Adept Cosmetics. I'm going to do ACS12, also from Adept Cosmetics. And then I grabbed 20 something from ColourPop. That's this one. So I'm gonna take a look and see. Which color best reflects. So that bronze, I'm gonna say, is the second Adept Cosmetics. ACS12. All right, so that is the first row. And I'll put all of these over here. All right. Now, the second row, it has this peachy shade so we have a matte p 
peach. So I have three of these. I mean, that looks kind of washed out, but there's that one. And this is from Mater Makeup Labs. We have Carnegie, which is from Collective Cosmetics. And then we have Palace, which is from Sydney Grace. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these three. So first I'm gonna do Mater Makeup Labs. And it almost like blends into my skin. Next is Carnegie from Collective Cosmetics. almost a shimmer and then I have from Sydney Grace I think it's gonna be the Sydney Grace All right, so next we have a matte dusty rose and I have several contenders So I have from Terra Moons, I have no idea what this says, I think it's called Sinner. And then I have from Terra Rose, Stunna. From Davina Cosmetics, I have Mina. And from Mater Makeup Labs, I have Faint. All right, so let's see, Matte Dusty Rose. So I'm gonna do the first one I think it's gonna be, is gonna be from Terra Moons. And that is, it called Stunna. We also have from Mater, or from Terra Moons, we have Sinner, which is a little bit darker. It's almost like an orchid. And then from Mater Makeup Labs, we have Faint. Ooh, that actually might be the color right there. And then we have from Divina Cosmetics. Hmm. I am going to put the one from Mater Makeup Labs in. Yeah. Alrighty. So, next we have um, Sandstorm says Matt Tawny Brown. So let's see, Matt Tawny Brown. Um, I've got this one from Adept Cosmetics. It's called ACM26. And I feel like this is really the only one that I've got that matches. So that's just gonna go in there. We're not gonna look for that anymore. All right, so next we have Summer Sky, and that is a matte chestnut brown. So I have several ones for this. I've got 
This one is from Mater Makeup Labs. It's called Tata's. And this might actually be more of an orange. And then from Sydney Grace, I have Summer Heat. That's closer, I would think. And then from Adept Cosmetics, I have ACM2, which is just a little bit darker. So it's gonna be between this one and this one. I think I'm gonna go with the Adept. All right, so the last shade for that row All right, so the last shade for that row is, I wanna say it's called Earthbender. And this says it's a matte chocolate brown. So I've got this one from Makeup Geek. And I would say that it's a matte red chocolate brown-ish color. Then I've got this one from Mater Makeup Labs. And I would say this one would be more of a brown brown. I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go with the makeup geek one and it's called bitten all right last row hold on let me spray my hand hand is all messed up okay so last row we have the gray shimmer and it's like a really I don't know almost like a gunmetal gray shimmer so I have two I've got steel gray from coastal scents And then I have one that I made from pigment. So I will swatch the one that I made from pigment. And that's so pretty. And then the one from Coastal Scents, it almost doesn't compare. So we're gonna put the one I made in. All right, so next we have just a matte deep gray. Um, I'm looking at this swatch and it almost, to me, looks like it's a little bit blue. So this is the one that I picked and this is the one that's going in. I don't have any other matte deep grays and this is by Terra Moons and it is called Atlantis. And then next we have Deep Sea, which is a deep blue shimmer with blue reflect glitter. I have five shadows <laughs> for, this, for this color. So I'm hoping that I can come up with one. I have ACS19 from Adept. Let me swatch that again. And then I have ACD4, also from Adept. Ooh, that's pretty. 
And then I have STFU from Davina. I have Kabata Olala, and this is from this is from Terra Moons. And then the last one that I have is from Touch of Glam Beauty is Deepest Darkest Secret. All right, so those are the swatches. Now let's go to And I think it is going to be the one from Terra Moons. I feel like that's the closest match according to the swatches. And then for the last two shades, I only have, <laughs> look at how <laughs> stained my hand is. Okay. So for the last two, I only have two shades. So I've got Backstage, which is from ColourPop. And this is just a deep navy. And the last one is from Crown and it's just a black with glitter. Oh, that's terrible. That is a bad swatch. Um, let's see if I can get a better swatch. I might have to put a different black in. Let's see if I can get a better black. Guys, if you saw how many single shadows I have, you would shit your pants. You would be like, what in the world are you doing? I mean, I could always use the black from, I could always use the black from my Copacetic Cosmetics um, palette, but I put that one in my ColourPop Times Christie collab. Oops. New black in there. No black, no black, no black. I mean, I have a deep dark black um, color in uh, Collective Cosmetics. No black, no black. I may not be able to find a black, guys. Let's see, what about in my new, new, no. If I can't find a black, what do I do? See, I have dark greens. Make a 
And then I have this black here is Makeup Geek. Let's try that one. That one might be better. Okay, so it doesn't have it doesn't have a ton of shimmer in it, but it's a better black. So, all right, so I have my palette. Looky, looky. So that is my palette. So I'll put it here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it out for you guys. And we will compare swatches and see if I did a good job or not. So we'll see. All right, so we're gonna swatch right here. And then I'm gonna swatch. Let's see, how can I do this? Let's watch the lightest color here. So that is my color story for my copy of Luna Beauty's palette. Um, let me know what you think, if I did a good job or not. Um, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful night and I will see you later. Bye.